Alright bonsai enthusiasts, um, hi, um, I want to talk to you today about my uh, Amorica spruce, so this is a Serbian spruce, right, um, uh, Picea Amorica, uh, common Christmas tree, um, yeah so this was uh, just a store bought, or actually not, let me just first tell you the uh, origin story about this tree, right, so I, uh, last year I bought a Christmas tree, a uh, Nordman spruce, and um, the guy who sold me that tree actually kind of ripped me off because uh, he sold me a tree on a cross, on a wooden cross, so it was just the top of a tree, um, but he sold me that as it, well in a pot, right? So I bought that, brought it home, um, and I use it as a Christmas tree, but those are like really, uh, they, they don't lose the needles or anything, so you don't even notice. And then uh, <laughs> I wanted to keep the tree in the soil, so I just take out the tree, plant it in the soil, but with, with uh, in, in the ground with the remaining soil still attached to the tree, right? So okay, put it in the ground, don't do anything, because I thought uh, 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 don't work on the roots or anything, because I thought well, I really want to keep this tree. It's a large fat specimen, so I can use use it to do some dead work, uh, dead wood experiments, etc thing is, he ripped me off. So, the tree just started dying, I said, well, what, what am I doing wrong? I mean, well, too bad I kept it inside too long or, or whatever. Uh, and one day in the storm, it just fell over, tipped over, fell on a couple of bonsais. I was pissed. <laughs> I was angry. So, I went to the, the store with the tree, <laughs> humongous Christmas tree. I, I went uh, with, with the tree on my shoulder. I, I told the guy, I said, this just fell on like a bonsai, I exaggerated, say a very expensive bonsai. It was actually a, a bonsai in training, but still, you, you put work in that. I mean, you're working on a tree, so it means a lot to you. So I was like, you need to give me some. I mean, you just ripped me off. I cannot accept this, uh, and I wouldn't accept it. Um, I can be, <laughs> you know, um, you gotta stand up for yourself, right? And. This was the best he could do because it's not, I mean, Christmas tree selling in Belgium, I'm, in Belgium is just um, seasonal, right? So, and it was past Christmas, so he, he had this lying around uh, and I said, okay, that'll do, <laughs> right? At least I had something in return. I was, uh, in retrospect, I'm actually super, super stoked that that happened because, as you can see, I think this is the front or at least I'm thinking of making this into the front, right? Uh, I'm really stoked. I mean, look at the movement. It's it's. I mean, it's not the best movement, but I mean, normally Christmas trees, if you buy, I I I, I already experimented with a few, and if you buy them, they're straight. And the only thing you can do is, uh, well, take a branch here and make your bonsai here, right? So, <laughs> this one, I mean, I, I was really happy. I mean, I. Look at it, it has soft movement, um, of course it's not going to be a masterpiece, but what tree that you buy in the store is, so um, it's good to start off with something like this, very cheap, eventually, well, actually it cost me 50 bucks, because the bigger tree cost me 50 bucks, but I had a Christmas tree for Christmas, so, well, it kind of, it wasn't that bad, actually, now, uh, thinking about it. Now, what did I do with this tree? So, um, I kind of I worked on it rather slowly. Well, not too slow. I, I'm still in the impatient phase of bonsai, right? When you start getting patient, you really want to work, work, work. Uh, I'm still in that phase. I'm kind of waiting for it to go away, but I. I Kind of hoping that <laughs> it goes away because I actually always want to work on my trees, but man. Um, so, what did I do? I, first of all, I got it back home, right? And I repotted it immediately because it was a repotting season. Put it in good bonsai soil. Well, actually, I put it in a little bit more specific bonsai soil. This is a mixture of. There's no organics in here. Nothing whatsoever. Why is that? Because this is a spruce, right? And a spruce 
really does not like to have its soil really wet. So I have a really coarse, look at, look at this, just rocks, right? So this is, uh, I, I can buy this at my local bonsai guy, right? So my local um, bonsai nursery, if you will. Um, I can buy this, it's a mixture of, um, I think it's some pumice, some um, lava rock, uh, there's no akadama in here, no akadama whatsoever. Um, I do fertilize, well I, I, I use really good fertilizer, uh, this was an experiment and I was really happy because these are like pellets that you can buy, a slow release fertilizer. It was actually a, a Christmas gift last year that my, uh, my honey bunny <laughs> uh, bought me and they work really fantastic. I'll, I don't know the name anymore because I also lost the, the... I threw the box away. I should keep this uh, now that I'm making videos. I'm going to write this stuff down. <laughs> um, so but really good. This, it's in really, it was in really awesome health the entire time, and I styled this uh, this fall, right? So the only thing I did was put it in a pot, um, didn't cut that many roots, but it did get rid of all the, the bad soil in, in uh, one go. Normally you shouldn't do that, you should do it gradually, but it was in really good health. Uh, it was already in the pot for like a year, so, I mean, uh, that's what I guessed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was really, really doing uh, very well. And so I repotted immediately, fresh soil, uh, and then I styled this in October, no, not that long ago, December, right? Like second week of December uh, 2019. So, and this is it. Really happy with this tree. Um, Really looking forward to uh, it getting a lot of bark. It still, yeah, it still looks young because it is a young tree, right? But really looking forward to this, um, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, enjoy going with me uh, or discovering uh, how cool this tree might be in the future. Um, and if you have questions about this tree, how to work it. When to, when to work on this tree or um, my experiences with this tree, put them in the comment section uh, and please subscribe if you like this video. And um, yeah, looking forward to experimenting and uh, giving you real data on this tree as well. Alright, one more thing uh, about this. I have to just uh, to. This tree, well, I styled this uh, two weeks ago, but there's one thing, I, I always cut it back like branch, one branch at a time, and that is because of a scientific principle, right, because Bonsai Lab, I'm just going to give you this, there's a scientific principle that we call hormesis, and hormesis is basically just um, giving a little bit of stress, just a little bit of stress, to eventually improve or, or protect an organism for stress, right? So what I did is I cut one branch at a time. So if you do, if you cut one branch at a time, it's not that that stressful, right? So what I did was I had this tree in a pot, um, and then I compacted it, right? I just compacted it uh, a couple of branches at a time, like. One branch, two weeks later, another branch, uh, until I had a reasonable amount of foliage to make uh, a bonsai, right? So not too much, like this one went first, and then another one went, you know, like that. But never, I, I didn't do everything at once, and that's very important. Um, so that's something I really wanted to uh, share with you guys, because I think, or at least I saw that this uh, worked really well on this Omorica spruce. Pisea uh, Morga. Alright, I think that's all. Uh, thumbs up and stuff if you want. Uh, and yeah, see you next video. And subscribe, please. Okay, okay so closer look at the tree. There's an abari. Right. 
the bark's not too shabby. I mean, it's not. You can still see a lot of cuts. Yeah, I. <laughs> I didn't keep all of the dead wood just because it is still a young tree. So I believe it's going to heal over. Right. A little bit of dead wood. I still have to um, work on that bit. And then branch structure. Uh, to the top. Apex still needs a lot of work, of course, but it's for styling. Well, first year in training, so I'll just uh, give you the 360 as well. If you bear with me, the 360. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, see you next time.